So when should you use stat boosters and who should you use stat boosters on? In this video, I wanna talk about who should be targets of which stat boosters and why. So let's begin with opening up our little inventory and going to the stat boosters we currently have. Let's start with the basic ones. So the most basic stat boosters are damage and health ones. So like Seraph Robe, Energy Drop, Spirit Dust. Now who should get your Seraph Robes? This depends on your team comp, but generally your tank should get it. Now you can use it on off tanks. Off tanks are units that will tank a few combats, like maybe two to three combats before they would die. So this could be good on units like Alir, Chloe, Anna, Ivy. Those are, you know, pretty solid off tanks. You could also use it on like Pandreo, Kagetsu, Panette, and so on. Uh, Seraph Robe is generally going to be used on a unit who will be getting hit. So any unit who you expect to be getting attacked or who is going to be frontlining or any tank. So if you use these on tanks, it just increases their durability. So let's say you're running like a Diamond tank, a Kagetsu Ike tank, whatever. You could use a server probe on them for this purpose. Uh, for energy drops, you want to think of this in terms of physical damage fixing or physical damage increase. So if you have a unit who is barely not killing enemies, let's say you have like a physical Chloe or something or, you know, Divine Dragon Alir on sword power, you want to boost their damage up a bit, you could use an energy drop on them. Now you can use it on units who already do one round just to boost their damage up, but generally speaking, you want to use it on units who need it not units who are already killing. So if the unit is already performing well and they don't need it, you can use it on someone else whose damage is lacking. So I usually like to save these to see how the builds in my team are working out because I'm always testing new builds so I can never assume a certain level of consistency because I'm running new builds. Uh, so I'll save these until like mid game and then start distributing them as needed, like whoever's missing damage or whoever needs it the most based on feedback from combat. Same thing with Spirit Dust. You can use this on mages. Now, if you already have like a build in mind, you already know you need to, you need to use these spear dusts on some kind of like super Thoron units or something like that. Like if you wanna go for like Citrine one shots, that's, you know, you could save all these for her. If you wanna use it on like a mage knight or a griffin knight. Griffin knights with Levin sword benefit from spirit dust because griffin knight has kind of like average, sometimes low magic. So it helps boost that up. You can also use it on other units like Wolf Knight, Marin, uh, Levin Sword, or Cupido, Radiant Bow, Levin Sword, Fogato. So that's another option. But generally speaking, when you're looking to damage fix, you want to see who isn't one rounding, if they're doubling, or depending on the build, you want to use that on them. Now for Speed Wings, we can just go over like tonics. Um, so, all right, so like Speed Wings generally should be used on units who want to double or who are barely not able to double. So if you have like a Gold Mary, Gold Mary is like a prime example of a speed wing target. If you get her speed plus five, she'll double like slow enemies and medium enemies, but those faster enemies, she usually needs a little bit of help. So she usually wants like a speed tonic and a speed wing or two. Uh, so that's like an example of using speed wings to speed fix. Now, if you have a unit who is already so fast, they double most things, but they just need a speed wing to double fast things. That's another good use case. Uh, generally speaking, their like speed wings are wasted if you throw them on like a general or something or some kind of very slow unit who doesn't double anyways. If you're trying to get them to not get doubled, but they're so slow they get doubled by anything, you're better off using it on things that are medium speed or already fast to either boost the medium speed towards doubling or boost the fast towards doubling the very fast enemies in the game. Uh, that's how I use speed wings. It also gives you a void plus. I think it's like a void plus four. So each speed wing also increases avoid tanking. So if you have an avoid tank who you want to boost them up, that can be good. Uh, Dex tonic, or in other words, secret book. Secret books are good on units who need their accuracy improved, but it's also good on units who have dex triggers. So like Ivy has a dex trigger, Ivy, Diamant, um, Alfred, uh, Saline, Tamara. Tamara, I think, is like one of the best targets for Dex Book because if you're running her, it increases her Sandstorm trigger rate, and Sandstorm does way more damage than any of the other triggered abilities. So that can be, you know, a huge difference. For other things, you can just use it on units who want hit. I think it also gives you one crit. I think two Dex equals one crit. So if you're on like a crit panette, you want to get her accuracy up on Warrior, you could use a Dex Book on her. But generally, Dex Book should be used for hit fixing, uh, slight crit, 
and for passive procs. And depending on the unit, like if you want to really run Vidam badly or whatever, you could use Dex books on Saline to get her Ignis triggering more often. Same thing with Ivy and Void Grasp. You can do that as well. Uh, for Draco shields, and I don't have a res tonic, but for talismans and Draco shields, I generally just use them on my tanks. I don't really see, like I use them on either main tanks, meaning units who are going to be drawing in a lot of enemy fire, you know, taking a lot of hits, enemy phasing a lot, or use them on off tanks, units that will fight smaller groups of enemies or two to three enemies at a time. So I would use them on tanks and off tanks. If you just use them on random units who are sometimes in combat, it might not be the most useful thing. So I would use those in that situation. And then for goddess icons, honestly, I think all of them should just go to Anna. If you're running Anna, because higher luck means more gold and more gold means more resources, more tonics, more staffs, more, you know, donation, more engravings. Or I'm sorry, more engravings, more forges. So if you want to, like, here's how I use them. You can use them on your tanks, or you can use them on Anna. <laughs> use them on your tanks to reduce incoming crit. Use them on Anna to make her passive trigger more. So that's really the use case, I think, for Goddess Icon. And then for boots, uh, you can just use it on whoever. I usually like to use it on a hard carry. So in this case, I use my boots on Anna in this playthrough. She is one of my hard carries, if not my best unit. And because of that, she has extended reach now and she can fly over 11 sword dudes and has a pretty high trigger rates for her passive. Right now it's one in four, roughly. It's a little bit less than one in four. Is 25% luck is 25% chance, or 24 luck is 24% chance. Uh, so I would say you want to use boots on hard carries so that they, they you can, so that you can ex extend their reach. So you want to have, you know, some kind of flying thing, some kind of mounted thing, whatever, something with high move or something that needs the move that you want to rotate between formations. So in this case, Anna is kind of like an assassin who just flies around and kills things, and having seven move allows her to travel between groups if I split my team up, which usually is how you handle maps anyways. So you could use it on like Ivy, Anna, Chloe, like a Wyvern Kagetsu, Wyvern Marin. You could use it, you could even use it on like Tamara or whatever tank you use. Uh, so it depends. You can use it on a Leer if you have a Leer on something else. Uh, a Leer Wyvern is obviously good. So you can run that. A Leer Griffin Knight is also good. So there's different builds, but generally speaking, I use boots on hard carries. Some people use boots on Dancer so that he can, you know, reach further targets, which is also a valid use of boots. Uh, there are two boots in the game. There's the chapter 14 boots and the chapter 24 boots, I believe. I don't think there's a third set. I think there's just two. Uh, but those are the two boots that I can at least remember. Uh, but you can use boots. I think you can use up to two boots on a single target. So I think you can get up to like eight move at base, but I would use them on two different targets. Like I would use one on like Anna and then probably the other on Chloe in this playthrough because these are like my two best units. And then I have like secondary units like Tamara, Alir, and Marin. But that's generally how I use stat boosters. I try to use the tanking things like health plus. Uh, so Seraph Robe, Draco Shield, Talisman usually go on my tanks. Speed wing go on fast units to double or medium units to get them into doubling. I uh, use damage fixing as needed depending on who needs the damage because I run different builds so I don't know who needs what. Uh, right out of the gate, especially when doing different tests with different emblems and classes and so on. And then for goddess icon, you can give it to tanks because they're, they're going to be getting attacked. So reducing crit rate is huge or just use them on Anna. And if you have an Anna main unit, she also gets reduced incoming crit wall. So triggering her passive and she has 45% luck growth so she ends up having almost no incoming crits while also making you quite a lot of money she makes me around two to three k per map right now well you know in a she's not the only one who's getting kills like everyone else is getting kills as well as her so uh but yeah i'd say that's pretty much it for this one I just wanted to go over how i use stat boosters uh how it makes sense to use them. Like if you have a unit who's already so fast to double everything, using a speed wing on them is generally a waste. Same thing with like damage fixing. Like if you already have enough damage and you just use it like an energy drop on a unit who already who already won rounds, you don't need to do that. Like it's just wasting the stat booster. So you should use it on units who need it and to fix issues they have or to enhance 
tactics or the build they're running. That's how I would recommend using them. So that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe. Uh, feel free to become a channel member if you want. We also have a live stream. Uh, channel membership gives you an icon next to your name when commenting and posting during the live stream. And there's also chat emotes. I think there's like 12 or so right now. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking this out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.